Hello everybody, in this video I will explain you the variables in AutoHotKey. How to use variables and how to use arrays, because arrays also are important if you want to code uh, an automation script. Okay, so uh, let's create, let's create a, a script, AutoHotKey script. Uh, Excuse me, I write it in Arabic. Uh, don't hesitate if you want to contact me, you will find a link in the descriptions below. Okay, uh, so let's create this. No. So uh, let's let's let me just write and then I will explain you. Okay. Uh, let's just write X like that. Uh, here what I want to do I want to that's that's the variable X I want to put inside this this variable the word water okay that's me that X is is like a box if I have a box I can put anything I want in inside that box okay the same thing for for variable I have a box, its name is X, and I want to put a water inside this this box, okay? Uh, so, now th the value of X is water, okay? So, here what I want to do, I want to tell this message box to print or to show me the value of X. So because that I want to surround this X by these two person symbols. Okay. Why these two uh, person symbols? To tell that this is a variable, not just uh, any character. For example, let me write X and see the result. Okay. Uh, if I if I ran <coughs> Uh, my computer is too lazy okay so that's X just tell me that you you want to see X okay but if I want to tell that this X is a variable and I want to show me I want you to show me the value of this X I want to uh, I, I, I need to surround this variable by two symbols okay in this case I tell this message box function that this is a variable and I want you to show me the the value of this variable so let's let's run <coughs> so that's it tell me it's water inside this variable I have water okay so let's let's copy this I copy and then I paste it again here. What I, I get? I get the same thing. So I see uh, water. My computer is too, too lazy. I want to. So that's water. And when I press OK, I see water again. OK. Uh, imagine that here. I, w I say that X now is equal apple. What I want to do, so now the first thing I say that inside my variable, I uh, inside my variable I, I put water. So here I, I show, I see water. And then I replace this water, I replace the content of X by apple. And then here I must see apple. The first thing I see water because X 
has a water as a value but when I change the content of the same variable x by apple I must here see apple okay so let's run So in the first message box I see water and then in the second message box I have apple okay so that's it a variable is like a box and the value of this variable is the content of that box okay uh, in the variable I can I can put word like this one surrounded by quotes or I can I can put uh, an integer of floating number okay if I put uh, integer 12 for example when I run it say that the content of X is 12 okay uh, if I want to declare another uh, another variable Y for example I say that Y is equal X okay uh, so here what I have so let's I want to see why <coughs> uh, it's a 12 what's that mean that means that I have this variable I put this content inside this variable and then I can declare this y equal the content of this variable which is 12 okay because that I see that the content this message box tell that y is 12 okay I can write for example top plus 5 okay plus 5 I get 17 for uh, I must get 17 okay 17 uh, if I declare another variable for example Z equal Y times X and I want to see Z what you guess I, I, I get as a result uh, that's mean that 12 times 17 because X is equal 12 and y is equal 12 plus 5 17 so 12 times 17 I don't know the result uh, so that's it you can check that 12 point, uh, times 17 is equal to 204 uh, so that's it for for variable variable is a container and you can put whatever you want inside this this container okay uh, so the, the arrays the arrays is too important if you want to create your uh, your bars okay uh, excuse me uh, so let's create an array so what is an array let, let me explain you what is an array uh, why you use a, an array if you have for example here here for example I have four uh, I have three variables imagine that I have mu uh, too much number of, of variables too many uh, number uh, variables you don't need to write them one by one x1 x2 x3 uh, and all our variables you can just write one array and inside this array you can add values as you want and you can remove values okay so let me explain you an array is something like uh, excuse me <coughs> let me open point is something like like this uh, so 
the index the index uh, for the first is always one the second is two and the third is a three and so on okay and inside inside uh, of this cell I have a value for example I have three I can have uh, ten I can have minus one I can have anything okay for example let let's declare let's declare an array for example I want to say that I have an array and this array is initially is empty like this I declare an empty array array without any element for example here I have three elements inside this array and here I, I, I want to say that uh, I have an array but it's empty okay if I want to declare it with with the three uh, with the three elements for example here I have three ten minus one I can say that the first is a three and the second is 10 and the third is minus one okay if I declare here a variable for example Z is equal the array uh, the array one what's that mean that mean that this Z here is a variable and the content of this uh, of this variable is equal the the content of the first element of the array which is three okay if I, I if I print Z here I must get three okay uh, let's run so that's three okay if I say that Z is equal the third which is minus one okay so that's the third uh, if I ran I get minus one I must get minus one so that's minus one if I was so the the array here that's the documentation the array has many many functions okay clone delete get has uh, insert uh, at pop push push uh, push for example appends a value to the end of an array what does that mean that mean uh, if I want to for example if I want to add another value uh, for example 7 or if I want to write for example any string for example a b c because in array I, I I can put anything not just numbers for example if I want to add the fourth so this will be the fourth and inside this I want to put a b c that's simple I I just use this push here okay that's an example okay uh, what I do I just say array and I write this function push and I say that inside this this element I want to add I put a b c okay and here if I so th this will be the fourth okay so if I want to see the fourth one if I ran here Uh, that's uh, that's a b c for example if i want to so i, I will put the link of, of this documentation uh page okay if i want to remove uh, so uh, for example that's push insert ads insert uh, push it inserts an element at the last at the last position uh, that's me that I append an element but insert at I I can specify where I want to put to put this 
this new element okay for example and for remove add uh, remove item from an array uh, I specify the index okay so let's let's try this let's try this uh, this function so here that we say that the fourth is ABC okay so let's let's first remove uh, for example, let's remove the first. Uh, I, I want the uh, remove the first. That means that the element, the first, which is three, okay, uh, which is the element with the value three. Uh, let's run and see what can happen. <sighs> so it didn't. Uh, print anything that means that there is a problem because here we say that we have inside inside our uh, inside our array uh, we have three and ten and minus one and the fourth the number four is ABC but what I when I I remove this first one so that's mean that will be the number one because this is removed okay that's the number one and that's the number two and that's the number three so we don't have four this is not exist okay this is not exist because we remove this and this will be one Two, three. We have just the three, and I want to print the number four, which is not exist. I, so, uh, because the, for example, if I say three, I will get this A B C. Okay. Uh, that's it, A B C. So that's it for that video. Don't don't hesitate. If you want to contact me in my Facebook, you will find the link in the descriptions below. And thank you for watching.